the first thing I want to let you know is I'm walking around and I don't, I mean, I'm, I mean, it, it's still there, but it's improvement. You know what I mean? I'm happy. I can fuck around with my deckhead driver and I'm, I'm feeling good. Some people think it says dickhead. You're wrong. It says decade. Yeah. Common misconception. What do you think about that? You like Common Rider Decade? Is Decade your favorite Common Rider? Is he? I know some of you were saying, like, in your review, Dante, and your shirt's not on straight. No, I had to have the driver. If you could see like this, I had to have, I had to have the driver tilted this way a bit. Because the camera that was getting the driver was not the camera that was recording me. Get it? You know, I don't live in a bizarre world where I don't have, like, my buttons straight or whatever. <laughs> the fuck, Dante? Someone uploaded Kamen Rider Forza episode one on YouTube. And we're gonna go get lunch. I feel like such an idiot. Yeah, you know, not, not great. You know. Oh, oh, look at those reflexes. That's, that's impressive. It's vlog reflexes. <laughs> you know who's gonna feel silly when uh, I get that force belt? Uh, not me. Me. Oh. Yeah, me. Because it makes some funny sounds, I tell you what. You've already watched it? I haven't watched it yet. No, I haven't watched it yet. All I know is... Wow, it's really clean. Your building is awesome, Bree. People want to live here. I haven't slept yet, so... Wow. You're gonna make... I would never fucking sleep. So... Uh, do you... What time did you get up? Um, 8. PM yesterday? PM yesterday, yeah. I'm doing pretty good right now. <laughs> I'm pretty good. I think you do pretty good and then well, I mean, it's and then you fucking crash. It's almost it noon. It is noon. So, I mean, I'm, I only need to make it to like 8 or 9. <laughs> you only need to go 8 more hours. And I don't have that like 5 o'clock tiredness. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, because at like 5 o'clock every day, I mean, you start to like, go, uh, the day is starting to wind down sort of thing and, you know, whatever. But I don't have that yet. Like I'm, I haven't reached that point where, where I'm about to, where I think, well, maybe I should go home and relax. No, I've paid bills today. I went, went and checked on my application and got an interview. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to rock and roll. And I went on a rant about politics and ended up almost like throwing my hat in for 2012 council member. But I marked my tire. Right, two hour parking. Mark my tire, right? And I was like, that's some, that's some fucked up shit. Like, that really promotes shopping, right? You know, like, oh, hey, what are they doing to my car? I've only been here for 10 minutes, right? So they marked my tire five minutes after I got there. And I was like, okay, I understand that it's two hour parking, but like, why already? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. So anyway. We go on the story about how like one of our council members, you know, I was talking to Mary Cole. She, um, she, they were building, remember when they were building the judicial center over there? Uh, yeah. Well, her house is right next to the judicial center and it's two hour parking on right. the sidewalk, uh, on the sides there. And so she called the cops on the construction company because they were parked, they had all of her, their vehicles parked in two hour parking and had, had been parked there for more than two hours. So the police actually came and ordered, like, they were gonna ticket them if they didn't move every two hours. So they were playing like musical cars. Like, so they were like, pull up one spot and then let the guy <laughs> in the front, you know what I mean? And so they were doing that. And I'm like, this is the city's fucking project. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Let them so, park there so they can build the shit build the and shit. go. Yeah, and so, but they were we were talking about how these, all these ordinances that 
that uh, Mary Cope is completely ignored. Like, you're not supposed to have boats or RVs, you know, recreational vehicles in your on your lawn, right? But if we drive by there right now, you'll see she's got two boats in her front lawn. I mean, she doesn't have very much of a lawn. I'll give her that. But she can't have boats on her lawn. It's an ordinance. And so I was, uh, I was a little upset. We were just kind of going through, like, our list of grievances with the city council and I, we were like, you know what? We should just run for council, just take it over. It's like, <laughs> you know, I'm 21, I, I, or, you know, I'm, I'm the age to become a council member, but I was like, the problem is, again, everybody's like 70 years old and been on the council for 25 years plus, and all it is is just, it's, it's just stupid shit. And, uh, you know, like, uh, just some of the things they were talking about, uh, you know, because downtown has been remodeled, right? And they have, so they have all those plants and shit downtown. Well, well, this year, uh, I was talking to, again, the business owner, uh, Laura. This year, they, they slapped a tax on for watering of the plants for the remodel, like, right? So they're, they're taxing them to water the plants on the, on the ends of those sidewalks. So there's a tax that we pay? No, no, just the business owners. The business owners locally. Oh. So we don't pay for that. But again, where's the incentive? Like, and she was like, you know, if they would have came to me and said, hey, once a week, you want to water these plants? <laughs> like, we want to, you don't have to, otherwise it's going to be $50 a year to pay these. She's like, I'd fucking water those plants every fucking day to avoid $50 <laughs> a year. Like, they just didn't come and ask us. They just charged us. $50 a year in taxes to water these fucking plants. And I was like, yeah, I, that's fucked up. <laughs> and then like I was saying, the, like the, the whole town meeting shit that they're gonna start here. I don't know oh, the what open, it, the open. But like the open forum fucking free for all town meeting. If there's more than one person that has the way, that thinks the way you're thinking, just, they're gonna get their asses opened up wide yeah, by just, like the people who live here. I'm so never before. You say never the before have they ever done, done a town open meeting. Form. You know they've done the they've done the city council meetings. They do it twice a month, first and second or first and third Monday of every month. And but they're like, well, we should have a town meeting. We should let people speak their mind in a in a less professional <laughs> and organized way. And I'm like, okay. The, I mean, aside from the fact that the city council meeting and they're placing it on the agenda shit is already a joke because they just, they skip over certain parts of the agenda. I've seen it. I've studied it for fucking government <laughs> um, class. And it's like, they already skip over some shit. I, uh, there's no, like, there's, it's, it's going to be fucking chaos. I mean, I don't know how they have it organized. I kind of actually want to go just to see how it's going to work. I think that if you were to go there and cause trouble, I think the older people would just shut you down. I really... That was the problem. That's what we were talking about. Like, why... What... Why does... Why do these people continue to get elected? Because, you know, you talk about half of the city council actually has a conflict of interest when it comes to almost every vote about downtown Brainerd because Bob Olson and Kelly Bevins and a few of the other council members actually own property in downtown. So any renovations that need to be made, half the council doesn't even get to vote. They can't vote because it's a conflict of interest. And so, you know, when you have that kind of shit, you know, what, what gets done? You know what I mean? Like... And Mary Cope gets to vote on everything because she doesn't own anything. She's poor and fucking retired. And I don't know if this is normal, but like, if you want to put a new, let's say you want to replace your window, you know. At least they use white tape, you know. Yeah, it's professional. Let's say you want to like replace your window in this town. You know what you have to do? For your house, or yeah, for your house. Okay, what do I have to do? You have to contact first the city planning board, and you have to. I mean, this is, I mean, this is written down. I read this. You have to contact the planning board, have an inspector on your dime sent out to your house to inspect what you're trying, what you want, what you want to accomplish, give you an okay, pay for the permit from the city, and then after it's done, the, the, 
follow-up inspection is completely free, but you have to pay for the inspector to come out, and then you have to pay for the pit. I don't know if that's normal, but I think it's absurd. I thought you would just call a glass repair people or and just have them do it. Yeah. Or just do it yourself, that's always good. Well, I didn't eat, so I figured I'd give them some sort of homage or payment or... And only because I said I'd show you guys as soon as it happened again. Just so that you could have some context. You hear that? It's the siren. So, yeah, every, every Wednesday they do a siren test. I'm feeling really good today. My back is... My butt has pain, but not the back. I can't really bend forward, but I can't really walk straight. Ow, that hurts a lot. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, right. Conqueror Shambhala. Watched it yesterday. Fucking dumb. Just... Let me just say that I'm glad Brotherhood exists. Now I'm gonna watch Forza Episode 1, Part 1. TV Nihon does not have it ready yet. It's not subtitled yet. Maybe Overtime has it up. Overtime... Subs. Overtime Subs is another site that I go to. Common Rider 4 is one. Oh, huh, they do have it up. The Overtime Subs are not as good because they don't really take all the time to translate what's being said. They just translate what they think is being said. And they're pretty close, but sometimes they're not like that good. So. But anyway, I'm going to watch it without subs because I'm crazy. And this is still rendering. God. I'm just gonna watch it subbed, whatever. Just wanted to show you guys something really quickly. You can't really read it, but um, you know how Nani is like kind of fickle and scared around people, like very nervous and cautious? I just got a verbal warning. First of all, let's give credit where credit is due. She's supposed to be on a leash. On here it says, dog not on leash. Okay, cool. Uh, the language used to control animal. Oh, jumping on the, on a tenant, which she did not do that. And on the male lady, which she did not do that. Oh boy, oh boy. <sighs> there are just some people who just fucking complain about everything. That's, that's who this woman is. And I was warned about this before, and I was nice to her. These rumors that people are making up about her can't be true. She's this nice older lady, I think she's in her 40s or something. And she makes quilts and shit. Yeah, good job. You make fucking quilts. Ugh. Quilts. Fucking pathetic. Stop wasting my fucking air with quilts. Verbal warning. Now, if this was like, if this was a strike on my, on my lease, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to watch 4's episode 1 dubbed because watching it on YouTube without any, not dubbed, excuse me, with subtitles, because watching it without subs is really confusing. So because there's a whole bunch of like negativity in the vlog today, I wanted to um, show you the henshin for Kamen Rider 4's. Whoa. Three, two, one. It's like a, it's like a PlayStation. I don't know why they picked those specific symbols. The way that they go about doing stuff in the show with visual effects is pretty neat. Let me show you this. Yep. <laughs> It might be a little high schoolish and whatever. That's probably all right. I mean, when was the last time Common Rider had a, a high school theme? I don't know. <laughs> I probably fives now. I don't know. I haven't seen them all, so I don't know. But anyway, there you go. That's what I thought was cool about it. I don't know whatever.
you're such a bad dog, running around, jumping on people, right? Such a mean kid, Nanny. Such a, you're such a mean kid. Such a mean kid. Yeah, yeah, you're mean. You're barking nice and quiet like I want you to. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. All right. Anyway, going to bed. Anyway, uh, yeah. See you tomorrow. Duh. It's a daily vlog. So, bye. Oh my god, your dog was running around? Yeah, I fucking made quilts to her. <laughs>